We will work on last year's string stats code. This particular programming problem has five lines of output. There is sample input which contains a sentence. That's a full sentence with letters and a comma and a full stop. And there is sample output which contains five lines. So each line corresponds to one block of code which uh, are we going to write? So there is sample input which contains a sentence and there is a sample expected output which consists of, uh, of five lines and each of these corresponds to, to one code block. Okay, so let us tackle this problem one block at a time. So we open PyCharm and, and enter the name of the function we define the function that is uh, string underscore stats and pass in variable sentence. And we call this from the main function using the input sentence. First part is finding the number of different letters. So let's begin by, by creating a, uh, a variable called sentence underscore lower which has the lowercase of the sentence. Okay, now, now we want the unique letters of sentence underscore lower. And uh, so for that, and since we don't need the order, we, we use set. So we say set of sentence underscore lower. So this gives you a set. All right, now, now uh, uh, we want to convert this uh, into a string. So, so let's call the string new sentence and to convert set, uh, set into a string we say um, blank string dot join. So this gives you um, the unique letters but with no specific order. Now just to debug, let's say print new underscore sentence. What do you get? We get this here. So all the letters are unique, but it has printed some uh, some extra stuff, which uh, we need to remove. We need to remove the commas and the spaces and the full stops and those kind of things. So, so to uh, do that, we loop through through all the characters of new sentence. So let's do that with for x in new underscore sentence and we say if x is not between a and z then remove it so this is how you do it if not a less than equal to x less than equal to z okay then remove it so that would be new underscore sentence equals new underscore sentence dot replace x with blank. And then let us print the length of new sentence because that's what the first part of the output is uh, supposed to be. And we run this and uh, 25, which is what we expect. Okay, the second one is to find the number of vowels in uh, the string. All right, so, so for that, let's create this variable that says number of vowels equals zero. Now, um, what we do is uh, we create a string called vowels underscore string and we assign a e i o u to it and then we are going to loop through sentence underscore lower uh, we're going to loop through all the letters in sentence or lower and see if they uh, they match any of the, the vowels in vowels underscore string. So for that you say for 
x in sentence underscore lower and then you say if x in while underscore string which means um, if you find a e i o u in it then that, that increases the, the number of vowels so that would be number of vowels plus equals one and print number of vowels let's see what we get so we get 25 which is the first one and 19 which is the, the number of vowels 